Hi everybody, welcome again to Leaning Left. I'm David Rodriguez. This is the first of a series of videos that I'm hoping to do, probably for the entire run of this channel, called Stupid Conservative Memes. And there's a lot out there. <laughs> They're uh, constantly coming in. There's always something new and uh, based in absolute ridiculous assumptions or ideas. So uh, I don't imagine I'll ever run out. I will say, I was trying to find them. I, I don't I don't, I'm not on true social. I don't follow a lot of conservative stuff, so this stuff doesn't come into me directly very often. I tried Googling stupid conservative memes, and I got a bunch of memes about how conservatives are stupid. Now, there's a lot of those as well because they give us never ending material, let's be honest. So, lots of choices there, but that's not what I was trying to go for because those memes uh, do a good job. They don't need my help. So, instead, I looked up conservative memes, took the stupid off there. And, uh, of course, I got a whole bunch of them. There were still some uh, against conservatives, but uh, mostly conservative memes. As far as, like, you know, how far I had to scroll down before I hit something racist, it was... I didn't have to scroll. It was, like, the first, the first thing. This is not the one I'm showing you today, but uh, right away, there was racist stuff. Not shockingly. Conservative Party, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's their stock in trade. They love racist stuff. They love pretending it's not racist, too. But that's a story for another time. So, let me tell you about the one I found. It's this one right here. Now this is a great example of how Republicans can take things that are facts and still somehow make them stupid and misleading. It's amazing. I mean, it's the talent that it takes is absolutely incredible. I, I will give props there. So uh, I've got it in front of me, so I will not be looking at the camera when I do this, but it has, if you didn't know, there's a bunch of facts I'll go over. Please keep quiet. So if you don't know these things, shut up is what I'm saying. It says 13th Amendment abolished slavery, 100% Republican support, 23% Democrat support. 15th Amendment right to vote for all, 100% Republican support, 0% Democrat support. 14th Amendment gave citizenship to freed slaves, 94% Republican support, 0% Democrat support. And finally, Obamacare, 0% Republican support, 86% Democrat support. Okay, so these are the things that I say, if we don't know, we should shut up. All right. So, there... <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here, and I'm sure I won't get to all of it. Let me know if there, if you have other takes on this in the comments. I'd love to see it. But uh, let's let's talk about the comparison they're making here. They're comparing people's right to vote and be freed from slavery to Obamacare. It's fine to not like Obamacare. Probably most people who don't like it are uninformed about some part of it, but whatever. It's fine to not like it. But you want to compare it to slavery? <laughs> really? Like, the degree that that is disrespectful to any group who has experienced slavery is so immense. Like, I, I don't even know how to put it into words. And the sad thing is, most of the people who look at this and say, oh yeah, right on, that makes sense, will never understand. They somehow see giving affordable health care to people or giving them the option of affordable health care as being anywhere in the realm of being as bad as slavery. Even if you don't like Obamacare, that is an insane comparison to make. Absolutely nuts. There have to be other policies that have existed that are more comparable that you could get the same point across. All right, let's put that aside though for now. Now, I'm going to admit right away I didn't go and look up all these percentages, but that being said, I don't doubt that these are right. Or if they're not right, they're definitely in the right ballpark, okay? And this is something that Republicans like to point out a lot, this sort of thing, or, you know, um, that the Republicans are the party of Lincoln, etc. Always point that out. And it's, it's accurate, but this is an example, and, and this is going to come out a lot in my videos. A Republican's looking at something very surface level and ignoring the rest, or, you know, just picking what they want out of something and ignoring the rest, like they do with the Bible or the Constitution. They love doing that. So here's the thing. The Republican Party of that era and the Democratic Party of that era were extremely different than how they are now. In fact, pretty much opposite. It wasn't until, like, the late 1920s up until the early 1930s that things started to shift. And FDR's New Deal was, was a big part of that. But that was all after these amendments, or at least the, the New Deal was. And what the party stood for almost swapped. I mean, it didn't happen immediately. It took some time. 
But as far as this kind of thing, uh, social issues, completely different. Totally opposite. Yes, the names are the same. The Republicans existed then, they exist now. Democrats existed then, they exist now. But what those parties stand for and stood for are extremely different. If you took the parties from those eras and put them against the same name party of this era, we would have the exact same differences we have right now. So old Republicans versus new Republicans, the parties would look like the Republicans and Democrats do now. Old Democrats versus new Democrats, the battles would be pretty much the same as they are now. But Republicans don't like to look at that. They look at something they accomplished a long time ago or stood for a long, long time ago and say, that's us, we can claim that one. And technically, they're right. But realistically, that Republican Party today might as well be an entirely different party. The fact that they say it have the same name is irrelevant. The fact that the Democrats have the same name today as the Democrats of yesteryear is irrelevant. Those parties are all completely different now. So when they do this, this is another attempt for them to say, no, no, we don't do racist stuff. It's the Democrats. Look at what we did way back then. Now, they don't stand for those things. Now we have Supreme Court justices talking about ending interracial marriage. Specifically one of them who is in an interracial marriage. Clarence Thomas, there are easier ways to separate from your wife. There's this thing called divorce. Uh, if you're watching this, let me know. I'll try to send you like a, I'll, I'll look up a website for you. I don't know them off the top of my head. My marriage is good. But you know, you let me know. I'll try to help you out, brother. You, you know, separations happen, buddy. It's okay. Now the Republicans are a party that is heavily allied, if not a part of white supremacist groups. There was a time in my lifetime where they would shun any politician who would dare not condemn those groups. And now Congress is like full of these people, okay? We had a president who dines with these people. So conservatives, you did it again. It's amazing. You made a meme that is technically accurate, yet with even the tiniest bit of scrutiny, is terribly wrong. Amazing. So proud of you guys. It's impressive. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this one. There will be more to come down the road because believe me, these will never stop coming. In the meantime, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time we put out a video. And just always remember, if you keep leaning left, you'll always be right.